Thanks for tuning in guys. We're going to do a tips and information video today and it's going over how to make some cheap easy wheel wells and I did mine about two weeks ago and they turned out pretty well I thought and I wanted to share that with you guys. Now these ones were uh, if you're new to the channel these are made to fit the Proline Jeep Wrangler Unlimited body. So, it's going to vary on different uh, truck bodies, but I'll show you guys a glimpse on the inside of the wheel wells there. So, this is going to, uh, I'm just going to tell you what you need and a quick demonstration on what you need to do to uh, get to this point. I won't make a whole actual fender right now because I don't need it, but I will break it down for you guys. And um, if you don't use this technique, maybe it'll give you an idea. So, all you need is a milk jug and a knife of some sort. If you're younger, make sure you have an adult with you or a parent to supervise you or help you. And uh, if you want to uh, paint it black and stuff, you just need some spray paint. So, uh, get yourself a gallon milk jug or water, whatever you want. Just make sure it's a gallon and it's the same shape as a regular milk jug and what you're going to do is take your knife and what you're going to be looking to use is just this bottom section but since your body is going to vary on you know how much wheel well you need because yours might need another half inch than what I need go ahead and cut it a little bit thicker down here and do that all the way around making sure you don't cut yourself keep your blade pointed away from you and make it even cut the best you can all the way around if you want you can go ahead and take the uh, labels off ahead of time but I wasn't worried about it on mine either I left it on so cut all the way around and then once you do that this part you can go ahead and uh, just guard I don't know if I mentioned it but make sure you just rinse out the jug if you do have a milk carton or jug just make sure you rinse it beforehand so this is the piece you want here and I chose this just because right here see it's almost just a 90 degree angle that would fit perfectly into the uh, wheel wells themselves. See right here, the angles are already there for you. So at this point, you're gonna want to cut this in half. And that will give you uh, two fenders to start out with. Now again, when you're cutting this, make sure the blade's away from you, and you try to cut it as safe as possible without cutting yourself. This, uh, try to cut evenly down the middle. I'm not going to be too careful here because I am just uh, doing it as a demonstration. But this bottom part of the jug does get thick, so that's where you want to be cautious so you do not cut a finger off. Okay, so once you get this piece cut in half, now you got two fenders. Now I do this. I leave them large to begin with because it's going to vary on your body and how big of space you have here. So, like this one will match up for the rear or it could go up to the front here just because that's how it's angled. And then this one could go here or back here. But... Um, when you're doing it, make sure you uh, leave them large because I did cut my one shorter and uh, I might go ahead and go with some black duct tape. And if, say, you cut this too short, you just go ahead and seal it with some black duct tape and that duct tape may have an inch hang or a half inch hanging out, but that'll still cover that gap if you need it. If you cut it too short or whatever. These are pretty snug, but if you do cut it short, 
just uh, take a piece of tape and kind of stick it on the bottom and half it over and pinch it all the way down and that will kind of fill your gap that you might have made a mistake on. But um, you're going to want to unbolt your shocks and then um, depending on the height and all that, uh, just drill one hole through and then bolt it on and then drill the other one, bolt it on and so on. Then once that's there and in place, that's when you will go back through and start slowly trimming what you don't need and set your body on top. See how uh, much the gap is if you need to trim the edge or not. And once you finish that, then um, mock all of these up. And then if you do want to paint them, just take it all off and go uh, get some black paint or whatever color you want. Do some a uh, couple coats with that inside and outside, and then if you want a clear coat, glossy, or a matte finish, you can uh, go ahead and pick that up as well. But again, very cheap, easy way to uh, make some wheel wells and try to keep all that dirt and debris out that you don't really need, and uh, it's cost efficient. So hopefully this video helped uh, you guys or somebody with some ideas. Please uh, like and share the video. If you have not subscribed yet, please do and hit that bell next to the subscribe button that will notify you of the new videos every week. And you can uh, follow Beyond the Scale RC on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. A lot of uh, random photos and stuff are posted up there. So thank you for tuning in again. Uh, and to all the subscribers thus far, thank you for the support. It's much appreciated. And uh, see you guys in the next episode.